I'm officially an idiot. I just did. <laughs> I just wrapped up this whole video and the microphone wasn't on. It's on now. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, it is, it's not early, it feels early. It's Saturday, it's nine o'clock, and we are heading to the store. We meaning you and me, there's nobody with me. We are going to replace a radiator, maybe replace a clutch fan, and we're gonna run to Walmart, and we're going to run to Advance Auto. All right, Wally World, let Let's get it on. All right, we are going to Wally World. We're picking up a few supplies. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, man. Yeah, that was about three movies <laughs> all merged into one, and uh, none of which sound anything like the movie, but that's okay. That's It's what's in here today. It's morning, it's early, halfway through the coffee, and uh, I'm sure I am going to find a way to royally mess up this project today. And you get to watch it. Walmart. It's what's for breakfast. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, some of you already knew that. Some of you didn't, but now you do. All right, let's head inside and let's see what we can find. All right, we just finished up inside of Walmart. And be honest, who can go into Walmart and only buy what they came for? Not this guy. <laughs> it never, I mean, you're gonna get out of there. I can't go in Walmart without spending a hundred bucks. Obviously the tool set that I bought was a hundred dollars, $97 and tax. But you know, had to get light bulbs because one of the light bulbs is burned out in our bathroom. Uh, had to buy uh, a couple other good things I saw. And then you see that it's half the price at Walmart as it is in some other places. So guess what? Load it into the cart and let's go. On to the next store. Advance Auto. Advance Auto. Advance Auto. Advance Auto. I'm thinking none of those are their slogan. Hmm. Probably not a sponsor. <laughs> and now they probably never will be. All right, we are pulling in. I see it. All right, so I said I wanted this to be entertaining. It might be entertaining at my expense, <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, I appreciate you watching, but here's what I want to know. I watched five, six, maybe seven YouTube videos on how to do this last night. My friend Justin promises me that it's easy, and anyone that knows me uh, knows that I seem to have a way when it comes to uh, working on a vehicle. I have a way of making easy projects a lot harder. I don't know. It just happens sometimes. All right, so my question to you is what do you call that big metal box that goes on the front of the uh, vehicle that cools everything down? Do you call it a radiator? Do you call it a radiator? I call it a radiator. Three people on YouTube, the radiator. Four people, the radiator. Or the rad, let's check out the rad. Maybe I'll just call it the rad. Then, uh, then I can be YouTube cool. I don't know. All right. I would say it's late or I would say it's early, but it's not. It's 9.50. We're 50 minutes into this journey, running all over town, and we're headed home to get the job done.
next what we're gonna do is replace this. What do here? Got this pencil. That way, see it or not. I'm not sure that you can see that, but I put a little half in pencil. <laughs> this is the brand new piece. Brand new and the old. Alright, let's get this broken down and change it over. All right, so we got the old coolant, a little bit of transmission fluid in there. We're gonna properly, once we fill it back up, we'll put this in the old jugs and properly dispose of it. But for now, I'm gonna pull, move this out of the way. All right, guys, let me catch you up on what we've done so far. So far, we have drained all the coolant. We have Remove the fan shroud because we don't want that to break because they're hard to find. We have taken the radiator out and when we took that out we noticed uh, that we were going to go ahead and remove the old uh, fan clutch, pulled that out, disassembled from the fan, put it back together. We've now put the fan clutch and the fan back onto uh, the engine. And the next thing is to get that new radiator into the Jeep. All this is put it back together, two hoses on the bottom, then we're gonna fill it up. Before I do that, let me say a special thank you. First, a thank you to you for watching. If you like this episode, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button, and also hit the subscribe button down below. There's also, so right beside that, there's a tiny little bell, and if you click that, you'll get a notification anytime we post a new video. The final thing I'd like to do is give a special thank you to Justin Bagliazzo. Justin. All right, Justin. Why am I thanking Justin? <laughs> there are a lot of reasons. See, that's actually him probably, uh, let's see. I bet you anything. See? Let's see right there if it'll focus. That's Justin uh, giving me congratulations for the confidence to actually tackle this project because I was gonna write a check on Monday. Uh, there's a radiator shop right down the, the street on uh, Thursday night. I'd been out cruising in the Jeep, pulled into the driveway, stopped, and I had noticed the temperature gauge had gotten a little warmer than normal. I got out, I parked, walked inside, walked back out to get some out of the car, and there's a big puddle of uh, coolant on the floor. 
uh, on the ground. So I knew at that point what had happened. It's called, got it scheduled, because again, well, we, you didn't know this, but we were gonna be at the beach this weekend and for various reasons stayed home. But it was Justin, back to the point, Justin is the one who gave me the confidence to just tear into this and do it myself. He walked me through it, told me all the tips that I needed to be uh, aware of, and I went for it, saved myself you know, a couple hundred bucks in labor and the pride of doing it myself. So what I'd like to do, he has no idea I'm doing this, and, uh, but I've got a t-shirt on. And I'm gonna show you this t-shirt on in a second. But in the description down below, you're gonna see a link for t-shirts. And I'll try to make it big so everybody knows exactly where it is. But I'm gonna sell these t-shirts uh, for the next two months. And anything that we sell, I'm gonna send all the money to Justin as a thank you. Uh, I also bought Justin <laughs> lottery tickets uh, for another project that he helped me on, but unfortunately we didn't win anything. Uh, so that one was kind of a, a dud. But maybe you guys can help me uh, say a little special thank you to Justin. And for this t-shirt was made just for him. Let's see, I'm gonna rotate you around here. Because Justin, for anybody that knows him, just one more Jeep, I promise. Now I'm the one that has to say I promise because as many of you that know me, know that I have a single toy promise with my wife, one Jeep at a time, one toy at, the, at a time here at the house. And it's the, actually the reason why my Jeep is for sale right now is because I'm gonna do another one. I've gotten the bug. But uh, Justin, on the other hand, I've lost count how many Jeeps he has. So I've made this Jeep t-shirt for him specifically. And there's a link down below where if you buy one of these, I'm gonna send the proceeds to Justin for the next two months as a special thank you. So with that, let's wrap up the Jeep. I really hope I put everything back. <laughs> Fan clears. I'm officially an idiot. I just did. <laughs> I just wrapped up this whole video and the microphone wasn't on. It's on now. I just did 25 to 30 minutes of mixed driving between around town and on the highway. Temperature never got out of the blue. Wally World. 